Hey. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So, are you able to share your screen, Krista? Yep. Okay. Let me get it pulled up there. So I'm going to start. Um, for those of you who don't know me or don't know much about me, my name is Brittany Bowen, and um, I'm part of your upline. Um, and tonight we're going to be talking about thieves, um, facts, and hacks. Um, so welcome to the class. We're really excited to have you. And um, I've been using Young Living, goodness, this year it'll be seven years, um, and it has been an amazing journey. Um, I think that this is the longest I've ever done anything except my husband and kids, and my love for the Lord. <laughs> so, um, but even if I wasn't teaching and educating people about Young Living, I would still be using it because of our wonderful company and how awesome they are. So, um, but we are really, really glad to have you here. So, um, hopefully after this class, you will have a completely different uh, perspective about how to clean your house, the products you use, um, and why it's critical to kick the uh, poison to the curb. This class is centered around Young Living's Thieves. And um, so we're gonna watch a quick video about what Thieves is all about. Can you guys hear it? Okay. Hmm. Krista, we can't hear you either. <laughs> there we go. I had myself muted. Four boys who happen to have the same birthday. Quadruplets, they're nine years old, and my husband and I have been married for 12 years and live here in Brownsburg, Indiana. <clears throat> so, having four boys cleaning up is just a constant. You always have something to pick up to clean out some sort of disaster that needs your attention. Before Thieves, all the cleaning was on me. When we switched over to Thieves, that was like one of my favorite things because I was like, oh my goodness, my boys can clean the toilets. This is awesome. Like they can start cleaning up their own messes. They've been using it ever since, ever since we made the switch. They kind of have their own chores and routines and do their own bathrooms and help with laundry. And doing dishes is a breeze now that everybody pitches in. Thieves is really gentle. I don't have to worry about it bothering my skin or wearing gloves or something to protect my skin. It's not a harsh smell or a aroma to it. So we're having another boy to add to our family. I feel really good about bringing a newborn into a home that has safe products and has things that they can be around right away. I don't think we could live without thieves. I definitely can't live without thieves. So, um, one of my favorite things uh, thieves related is cleaning out the refrigerator. I don't know about you, but I 
hate to clean out the refrigerator, <laughs> wash everything down or whatever. Before thieves, I would absolutely have to take everything out, clean it, then use, because I used the B word. <laughs> um, I had to remove all of our products so it didn't touch anything. And then now with thieves, I'm like, oh, that needs cleaned? Okay. And I spray it and I don't remove half the stuff I used to. And I don't worry about putting it back and making sure that I know that the chemicals are out. So that's one of my stories. I know Krista has um, one that I think y'all would really benefit from hearing. So I'm going to let her share that real quick. Yeah, um, so <clears throat> before we um, started using thieves a whole lot, we used just what everybody does, which is the only options I thought, store-bought stuff. And we, um, me, but especially my oldest son, um, have very sensitive skin, love his heart. He takes all the really good things from me, um, <laughs> takes after me in that way. But we, um, I remember like several times uh, getting like notes from the school nurse asking me to go and get his skin checked because he would have like um, like broken areas on his skin, on his belly, on his trunk and stuff from where he would scratch a lot. And of course I'd take him and get him checked and they're like, yeah, he's just got really sensitive skin, really dry skin. So we would try lotion after lotion. But um, whenever um, I think Young Living came out with the laundry detergent, maybe that first summer after I was a member, and so I got the laundry detergent um, as soon as I could to try because I've been learning about, you know, all the bad stuff that's in most store-bought laundry detergents and started thinking, huh, I wonder if that's maybe has something to do with our skin issues. And I mean, and we at the time too, like the store-bought stuff, I always bought the, the clear and free detergents and would get the sensitive skin stuff and still we had issues. Um, so when we started switching out our cleaners for the thieves cleaner um, and then started, I actually started making my own laundry detergent first. I think I used, I made like a powder detergent and then got the thieves laundry detergent. And um, within a couple months, like skin issues were gone, um, which was amazing. Like um, I didn't think that it would be that dramatic of a change, but it was. <laughs> so um after that i'm like nope we're not going back you know so i always have an extra bottle of thieves laundry detergent on hand because i do not want to run out <laughs> and it has been awesome so um when it comes to natural health um, and natural cleaning why is it so important um so the c word cancer Cancer is the second most common cause of death um, in the United States and around the world. Um, it's succeeded only by heart disease in the United States. Um, the American Cancer Society says only 5% of those cases are from gene defects. So only 5% of cancer cases are genetic. Uh, that means uh, that 90 to 95% is under our control. It is caused by maybe excess weight, could be caused by tobacco or exposure to toxic chemicals. And it's what we are allowing into our homes. So um, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health studied several years ago, they studied almost 3000 ingredients um, in products that are found in our homes. And they found 884 toxic ingredients in household products. Um, 314 of those caused biological mutations. Mutations are a precursor to cancer. Um, and then 218 caused reproductive problems. And 146, they knew for sure, caused cancerous tumors. But all these products, all these chemicals, are allowed in the United States, even though they were banned in other countries around the world. So what do you think the top sources of dangerous chemicals are in the family home. Like I used to think it was the stuff that I kept on the top shelf, you know, in the bath, in our bathroom closet. I used to think it was like the toilet cleaner, you know, or the drain opener. Um, but because we know those things are dangerous, we handle them with caution, right? But the top sources of us being exposed to dangerous chemicals in our home actually comes from laundry soap, fabric softener, and dryer sheets. 
they are loaded with harsh chemicals, um, artificial fragrances, and those things, whenever we uh, wash our clothes, we fill our clothes with those chemicals because that scent stays with them, right? And then we wear our clothes all day long and we have this topical exposure on our skin. Um, and the clothes, they outgas all night long in our closet when we sleep and we breathe those chemicals in. So if you make that one swap after this, um, if you haven't already, if you make that one swap to the Thieves Laundry Soap, I will feel like we did a very good thing with this class. It'll all be worth it. Um, so other dangers in the home include air fresheners, like plug-ins and candles. Um, and I used to have those all over the place in my house too, until I knew better. <laughs> um, chemical cleaning supplies, hairspray and gel can have some pretty harsh chemicals in them. And shampoo and even deodorant. Um, deodorant, most deodorants, um, the um, active ingredient is a form of aluminum. Aluminum is one of the leading causes of brain disorders like Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So that information about the most dangerous chemicals in the home come from a government study called uh, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Top 10 Killer Household Chemicals. So what happens when your body is chemically overloaded? So most of the time, if, if our bodies are just like, if they've hit their limit of what they can handle with toxins, most of us feel it as being um, tired or what we call lethargy. Um, so if you're tired a lot, have no energy, uh, inability to focus, um, that's just me at baseline though, uh, trouble sleeping, uh, chronic inflammation or irritation, unexplained pain, fibromyalgia, skin issues, adult acne, hormones, hot flashes, stress, anxiety, fear. Uh, if you face any of these issues, that might be your warning sign that it's time to kick chemicals to the curb. Um, so you can control what you allow within the four walls of your home. And you can cross some things off your list by going as close to toxic chemical free as you can in your home at least. You can't control everything that goes on in the world, but we can control what goes on in our homes. So my journey in this started with Young Living. Um, now I am not telling you that Young Living will change your health, but I'm telling you that if one of your triggers is chemicals, possibly something that you're slathering on your skin or breathing in or consuming, it is time to get some of these things out of your house. My favorite place to start is with the Seed to Seal Promise, which is on over 600 of our products at Young Living. So uh, all of you, I think, know about Young Living. You know that we're the global leader in essential oils. We're the original. Um, we have nearly $2 billion in sales annually. Uh, that means that those that use our oils keep returning because they work. Our products work. There are 3,000 global employees, over 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets and growing. They just opened Brazil this month or last month. Um, we have 50 highly trained scientists and growing, 12 independent partner labs, and over 6 million global members. Woo, doing awesome. Uh, so Young Living is about integrity, hard work, and high standards that is seed to seal and that is why Young Living is different. So, and we are also more than 25 years old, which is really unique for a global essential oils company. So I'm gonna let Brittany talk a little bit about what essential oils are, because we could always use a refresher. Absolutely. Okay, so what are essential oils? They are the most powerful part of the plant. They repair and restore the plant when it is attacked or injured. Um, so if you were to take a leaf, um, I love this analogy, if you take a leaf and you bend it and you can see the little wet spot of the bent that, part that you bent or broke, that would be the essential part, essential oil part of the, the leaf, the little wet part. Um, so we can use oils in our home to replace the harsh chemicals. Um, why would you want oils in your home? Oils don't have any yuck in them. 
They're just distilled or cold pressed plant. There's millions of uses such as supporting systems in the body like our cardiovascular system, our endocrine system, which affects our hormones, um, supporting our joints, brain, liver, and great to replace our cleaning products. So that takes us to Thieves Cleaner. It's an all-in-one. You can use it to wipe down your bathroom, stove, kitchen, mop your floors, windows, all of it. It's made of plants and essential oils. You can also use oils to replace your personal care products. Young Living has an entire line of shampoos, soaps, conditioners, eye creams, face washes that are completely chemical free. Um, if you use oil infused supplements, Young Living has those. The benefit of the supplement is great, but it also has the benefit and the power of the oil in it. So, it all matters where it's sourced. There are four different types of oils on the earth. Grade A is authentic. Grade B is um, manipulated. Did I say that right? Manipulated. Grade C, perfume. D is synthetic. Um, it's important that you only use grade A because of the concentration in the bottle. It's like eating an entire apple tree sprayed with pesticide instead of one apple. That makes no sense to go the extra mile to get away from the toxic chemicals and then use an oil that's laden with toxic chemicals. So we want to make sure that what we put in our body is the best that we can get. Um, obviously, we all strive to do the best we can. Um, so let's take a look at a powerful video that explains and shows the effects of spraying crops. Um, this study was done out of Sweden and it's based on food. Essential oils are more concentrated when it takes 60,000 rose blossoms to make one ounce of rose oil. The concentration of the pesticides sprayed on those plants is much higher. Look at one month of clean eating and getting rid of chemicals can do at the level of chemical exposure that you will have on your body. Most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. But for the next two weeks, the Palmbergs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members. And it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. Vi hittade framförallt insektsmedel, svampmedel och stråförkortningsmedel. Vi äter insektsmedel. Mm. Så, right. yeah. allting so, in the kitchen is replaced, and they begin eating only organic. Then, another round of samples are taken, and now almost all the pesticides have disappeared. Vi vet ju väldigt lite om långtidseffekter av att äta mat som har besprutats. Speciellt med tanke på att studier har visat att kemikalier i kombination kan vara långt farligare än kemikalier var och en för sig. När man får höra det här så tänker man framförallt på barnen. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, if you have, if you save 30 cents when you buy grapes at the store by going for the sprayed grapes instead of organic grapes, 
um, that's a huge, I mean, that's not that much. You can, you can <laughs> spend that extra 30 cents to save your body some of that. Uh, <laughs> so this is why seed, seed to seal is so important. It's not always about getting the cheapest version of the product that you can, but it's about protecting your family. Now that you understand purity, let's switch gears and talk about thieves. We're going to have a little history class, a little math class, science, Krista. Um, <laughs> then send you out to explore with some thieves hacks for yourself so you can make some different things, things with thieves. So what is thieves? Thieves is an essential oil that is a blend of five powerful Young Living oils. It's spicy, hot, uplifting, and energizing. It's one of the most famous oils of Young Living and one that oil that has put this company on the map in the early 1990s. Thieves oil also comes in our starter, old starter kit and the Thieves kit not old, oils kit. Good grief. <laughs> I'm going to start that over. <laughs> the Thieves Essential Oil Blend also comes in the Oil Starter Kit and Thieves Starter Kit. Why would you want that? The oil is a lot more concentrated than the Thieves Cleaner. Thieves Oil doesn't contain the other plant ingredients that allow the oils to evenly spread through the cleaning solution. So if you try to make a thieves cleaner out of the thieves oil, you'll only end up with thieves and water, um, with the oil and water. Thieves oil is in the household cleaner and it's one of the thieves household products. I think it's you, Krista. You're muted. Now, okay, yeah, you were muted there for a second too. I know. <laughs> okay, so five uses for these essential oil. So there are literally hundreds of ways you can use these, but let's start with five easy ways, okay? So you can put some on your feet and spine um, our immune system loves thieves oil. Um, please though dilute it with coconut or olive oil if you're putting it on kids or on any um, sensitive skin or you can use Young Living's V6 carrier oil. It is like so, uh, if you haven't used the V6, if you're like, what's the big deal? It like doesn't leave greasy at all on you. So it's awesome. Um, but thieves can be a hot oil. So definitely if it's your first time putting it on your skin, dilute it just to be on the safe side. Um, you can take Thieves Vitality internally for the same immune support. One of my favorite recipes is 10 drops of Thieves Vitality, eight drops Oregano Vitality, and two drops of Frankincense Vitality in a veggie capsule. Um, I like to make those um, every few hours for immune and sinus support. Thieves, Oregano, and Frankincense. Um, it is awesome to add a drop of Thieves Vitality to the toothpaste of your toothbrush um, to feel extra fresh. You can put Thieves Oil in your diffuser as a favorite fall blend. Um, it has cinnamon and clove in it and just smells so warm and inviting and just lovely. Um, and clove, which is in Thieves Oil, clove has a numbing effect to it. So I like to put Thieves on my teeth to soothe them when they're not super happy. <clears throat> So now we're gonna have a little history class. Did y'all like history in school? Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. It depended on the subject. So we're gonna talk about the history of thieves. So I know y'all are gonna love this. Um, so let's talk for a moment about thieves and what's in it and where it came from. So the thieves blend contains clove, as I just mentioned, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cinnamon. So five oils. It is based on the legend of the four thieves in Marseille, France, dating from the time of the outbreak of the bubonic plague. 
So century after century, from at least the 1300s to the 1700s, outbreaks claimed up to half the population of Europe. We're talking serious plagues. Um, and there was an especially nasty outbreak between 1593 and 1608. About that time, an aromatic legend developed around a brew called Marseille vinegar, or Four Thieves vinegar. As history has it, this group um, of thieves allegedly confessed that they used it as protection against the plague while they robbed the bodies of the sick and the dead. There are a variety of recipes out there, but the recipes always included rosemary, rosemary tops. Um, many of them included dried sage flowers and fresh rue, camphor, garlic cloves, and vinegar, which were set to steep for seven or eight days. So the vinegar was noted um, in a number of famous medical books published later on including the Pharmacologia from 1825. This page is a snippet from that original book from almost 200 years ago. As the legend goes, these thieves covered themselves in the herbs and essential oils mixture before robbing the bodies of the dead and the sick. They were a mix of spicers and perfumers and embalmers that had carried this recipe through their families for generations. The magistrate caught up with them and was going to behead them, but he offered amnesty if they explained how they used the thieves mix. D. Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, is the most responsible for the story reaching the legendary status that it has today. Sorry, the boy, oh, okay. Sorry, son had a message for me. Um, <laughs> So, uh, Gary Young, um, he created the Thieves Blend in 1994 for immune support as the result of his study at Warwick University in London. Gary said, and I quote, I must tell you that I have read 17 versions of, 17 different versions of the Thieves story. Some claim that there were four thieves, some claim that there were as many as 40. Most of the legends took place in the 15th century, but some put the date in the 18th century. The formulas varied from one story to then the next, but through my research, I was led to four key botanicals that were mentioned again and again. Clove, cinnamon, rosemary, and lemon. Four of the same ingredients that make up the Thieves Oil Blend today. Okay. You thought you'd get through Thieves our Thieves School Day without a little science class. Think again. We're going to bring in our top guru to explain how Thieves products can be used effectively. Shoot, Krista, you should have been teaching this. This is science. <laughs> so here's uh, the latest from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, um, about ways to mitigate the spread of pathogens. And this is directly from the mouth of Young Living's Chief Science Officer, Dr. Mike Book, who is so smart and so stinking funny, y'all. He's, he's awesome. Follow him on Facebook if you're on Facebook, if you don't already. Um, so many have asked how the Young Living hand sanitizer is different if it also contains alcohol but not all alcohol is made the same way. Ours is naturally denatured using peppermint oil, which makes all the difference. You get the power of the alcohol with ingredients that you want to see in your hand sanitizer. So let's listen to Mike talk about how effectively, how to effectively use Thieves hand sanitizer, soap, and spray. Hi was looking at the CDC Healing Center for Disease Control Week website. They have some really good recommendations on how to use the big deal to prevent diseases. One of the main things they recommend is tampons for the dirty hands. They recommend using the boot soap on the top of the house floor. And it's interesting to note that most people actually wash their hands the wrong way. We tend to do this on the wash, and that's actually wrong. Because what we're doing is washing the back surfaces of our hands. But the important part of our hands is the surfaces that touch things. 
choice that you would get to the house. And you need to do this underwater until you see this. Good so under running water for at least 20 seconds. Really scrub your fingertips and scrub under your nail and rinse thoroughly. Because that's how we transmit heat and the infections and the diseases, particularly affecting your bodies greatly in their infection program. So they recommend hand soap and washing thoroughly. If you're not uh, at a place where you can access soap or water, they also recommend using hand sanitizers with alcohol levels higher than 60%. Again, they recommend using plenty of hand sanitizer, thoroughly wet your hands, and rubbing your hands, and especially your fingertips and thumbs together until they're dry and you want that alcohol on everything. And finally, they also have some really good information about sanitizing the surfaces around you. They recommend using sanitizers with at least 70% ethanol. And they recommend spraying surfaces liberally and then wiping them thoroughly. Was that extra quiet for everyone? Sorry. <laughs> okay. So let's dive into the awesomeness of Thieves home products, starting with our famous Thieves household cleaner. What is the Thieves cleaner? Let it speak for itself. To kick this selection off, take a look at this one minute powerful video of what Thieves Cleaner can do for you. Um, this pan in the video had been through 11 dishwasher loads that had a full scrubbing with a steel wool pad, yet it couldn't stand up to Thieves. I, we're just gonna scrub it and show you that it's, it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple it's one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can, it's not going anywhere, right? So we grab some baking soda. It's pure baking soda and thieves. Now we're not going to use all of those thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in. And, yep, just like a little sprinkle. Put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. See if we can make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. So if it's something that I just cook, I put a couple of drops of lemon and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it up, this is my go-to. even more and she wants a nice good taste. Yep. We're going to take it over to the sink. Let's do a good rinse on it. Dun, 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 following the pan. And let's see after multiple dishwasher loads and soap and all the other good things with this really nasty non scrubbable pan looks like. Are you in? Five, four, three, two, bam. Wow. To the rest. I love it. All right. So let's take a look at the power of these. Obviously, we can see that it totally took care of the pan. Um, it it is powerful to clean with plants over harmful chemicals. Look at the before and after pictures of the thieves. Um, there's the sink, the hard water stains in the sink scrubbed with diluted thieves cleaner in a spray bottle and a cap, it's one cap full of thieves household cleaner in a spray bottle filled with the rest water. Um, it only takes a few minutes to clean it up and no harsh chemicals were used. Um, same again with the uh, tub. And then the third photo is coffee grounds burnt on the bottom of the stainless steel pan. They were removed with undiluted thieves cleaner 
and that's the pan on the bottom. It's like brand new. So, so Thieves is an amazing way to clean. Um, Thieves will revolutionize how you clean your home. Um, it's really been a game changer for me. I know I have replaced literally almost every cleaner in my house with these cleaner. So it saves me money because now I'm not buying, you know, 20 different bottles of cleaner and I'm saving money because I'm healthier. So, you know, that pays for itself. Um, but the best way to start um, with Thieves is if you're not a member, um, get you a basic starter kit and then add the Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle. So this is available for members. Um, Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle. Um, the Rewards Bundle comes with everything that's in this picture. So it includes um, a large 15 milliliter bottle of Thieves Essential Oil. It comes with a Thieves Aroma Bright toothpaste, uh, has two full bottles of concentrated Thieves Cleaner. That would last you for so long, um, unless like you clean way more than I do. Um, it also includes two Thieves Foaming Hand Soaps. Uh, it has two Thieves Hand Sanitizers and two Surface Sprays. And um, if you get it with the Thieves, or I'm sorry, with the Basic Starter Kit, so if you're not a member yet and you're adding this Essential Rewards Bundle to your Basic Starter Kit, your Basic Starter Kit also comes with the Thieves Hand Sanitizer and a tin of Thieves Mints and a five milliliter bottle of Stress Away essential oil so that you'll just feel like you're on a beach vacation when you're cleaning with all this awesome stuff. And then it comes with two packets of Ninja Juice or Ningxia Red, um, which is our top whole food supplement. So you'll have energy to clean your whole house, right? Um, and then if you still have energy, you can come to my house. <laughs> but that means that you get the Thieves essential oil, you get the toothpaste, mouthwash, cleaner, um, hand soap spray that you can use on shopping carts or airplane seats or to spray your kids hands down in the restaurant before you eat and hand sanitizer you get all this in one kit this is what i call the easy button for cleaning it you know you just add this to your cart you get all this awesomeness and you don't have to think about it so um as a member uh you know we already get 24 percent off um, with our wholesale discount but if you're on Essential Rewards, I'm gonna give a little plug here for Essential Rewards. Um, you also get the blessing of an extra 10 to 25% back um, on Essential Rewards orders. So you start off the first three months getting 10% back. Um, you could consider it 10% off basically because um, you're just getting that money back. Um, after four months, like whenever they changed this to where it was only on month four, you go up to 20%. I was like, what? I had to wait like a year for that. <laughs> so now it's on month four, which is awesome. Um, so you get 20% back. I don't know any store like credit card that gives you that kind of in-store credit. That's awesome. Um, and then after 24 months on like you're in your um, starting your third year on the central rewards, it'd be month 25, you earn 25% back in points on your orders. So that would be your Thieves Bundle, you get 25% back on that, or your Ningxia Red, or anything that you order. Um, it is, um, so being on Essential Rewards gives you access to special Essential Rewards bundles that you can only order on Essential Rewards, like the Thieves ER Bundle, Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle. Um, so you get extra savings because that bundle is worth $205, but as an Essential Rewards member, we only pay $118 for it. So who likes to save money? I do too. <laughs> so Essential Rewards is the way to go. Um, so what is Thieves Cleaner used for? This is you, Brittany. This is me. Yeah, sorry, I jumped so, in. <laughs> no, you're great. Um, 12 ideas that we can use these household cleaner for. Here are some, um, obviously all purpose cleaner. Name says it all, all purpose. Uh, heavy duty degreasing, then you have your fruits and vegetables, which we'll get to a little bit, but we also have a fruit and veggie wash. 
Um, if you don't have that, you'll need to get that. Dishwasher. I love this in the dishwasher. If my dishwasher, sometimes it will just get gunky from all the dishes and leftover food, whatever. Um, I just clean everything out and run it, put one cap full of this in the thing and run it with nothing in it. Sometimes I'll run it with it in it. Um, if I run out of laundry or dish uh, detergent, I will use this. Um, for your pots and pans, we saw Sarah. I love how real she is and that was her house, her dish she showed you. Um, windows and glass, this is my all time favorite. Um, and I love it, one reason I love it is because I give the twins and Cora a paper towel and let them run around with a spray bottle and they get to help me. Um, so your walls, floors, um, carpets. It, I have a Swiffer or something or another jet and I put this in my floor for my hardwood floors. Um, for our carpet, we use it in our, uh, yep, that machine that cleans your carpets. I uh, can't think of it at the top of the top of my Yes, there we go. Oh, carpet cleaner. Oh, good grief. Um, so then I also love to throw it in my washer. Um, I have a front loader and sometimes this can get really stinky and um, I like to use it in that and get a good clean. But if I'll run out of the Thieves um, laundry soap, or we have something that's just extra nasty um, in the laundry, then I will use this as well. Um, and then hand cleaner. Um, it's great for that as well. So let's see. You can also, like Sarah did, use um, baking soda and some of this and lemon. Um, I think that, oh, one drop of thieves to anything sticky. You can also use um, lemon with that and it will help get rid of gunk. Um, I think that is, oh, this is add a drop to the cardboard insert of your toilet paper rolls to have a fresh thieves smell in your bathroom. I think that would be a great idea. I also would be afraid of the little bit down close to the end to get on your tuchus. That might burn. <laughs> About that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to like, huh. idea sounds great. Not sure the execution would be <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> so, Krista, I think you're up. <laughs> Maybe we could uh, put it on uh, some on a little bit of toilet paper and stick that inside the tube, maybe. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's too fun. Funny. All right. <laughs> so, is Thieves Cleaner really, how effective is it as a cleaner? Like, we know that it is, like, great at, like, removing dirt and grime and stuff and sticky stuff and baked on food, but is it strong enough to use as a surface cleaner? So, we're going to put it to the test. So there are swab tests um, that are going to be shown in this video. These swab tests are the same types of tests used in the food industry to test for unclean counters near food prep areas. So let's take a closer peek at this. This is Young Living Leader Rachel Cipriano. She made up a spray bottle of Thieves Cleaner uh, with just one cap of cleaner to a spray bottle with water. And then she rubbed some raw chicken on her counter to see if thieves could get it clean.
contaminated. It's not a clean surface. There is really chicken juice all over. Wow. So that's pretty solid proof, right? <laughs> How effective it is. So um, what about um, the thieves cleaner that comes in your kit uh, with your starter kit or with your essential rewards kit? Um, are the ingredients in the cleaner safe? That's what folks usually want to know after they want to know how effective it is. Um, so let's take a closer look. Um, and then um, you can, if you have other cleaners under your cabinet, you can grab those and look at the same label. Um, or if you have your thieves cleaner, you can look at this on your label. Um, and if there's an ingredient that you don't know on your other household cleaner, um, top, in, top it in Google with the words dangers of and start to look at what you're breathing in, what you're slathering on your skin and you know, know what's in your home. So um, these are the ingredients that are in the thieves household cleaner. So water, all good, of course. Um, this alkyl polyglucoside is plant derived from sugar. Um, sodium methyl 2 sulfalorate. Um, this is derived from coconut oil. It acts as a surfactant, which makes things slippery, um, which means it slides off, the dirt slides off, um, and it's a foaming agent. Um, it has clove oil, of course, that's the thieves oil, lemon oil, tetrasodium glutamate diacetate. Um, it's made from plant material. It is readily biodegradable with a wide pH range. It serves the same function as EBTA, which is very common in household cleaners, uh, but this ingredient does not have the health or environmental concerns as EBTA. Um, and then we have the rest of the thieves oil, cinnamon bark oil, rosemary leaf oil, eucalyptus radiata oil, and then disodium 2 sulfalorate is derived from coconut oil. It's a wetting agent. It acts as a surfactant and a foaming agent and keeps the oil distributed well in the cleaner. So is thieves um, household cleaner cost effective? That's what people want to know also after they know how effective it is and how safe it is. Well, how much does it cost? It doesn't matter how clean it is if you can't afford it, right? But Thieves is affordable, man. Um, so let's break it down. It's time for a quick math lesson. So we've already covered history and science. Now we got math. Um, you're getting a full day of school in. You didn't know you're going to have this, did you? <laughs> so I am not terribly quick on my feet when it comes to calculating costs of products at the grocery store, but Thieves is a no-brainer. It is significantly cleaner than green cleaners in the store, and it is even cheaper than chemical cleaners. One of the top organic brands is 27 cents an ounce. Thieves Cleaner comes in for the win at five cents an ounce, and that is in our regular 14.4 ounce bottle. It's even cheaper per ounce if you get it in the big 64 ounce Thieves Cleaner bottle. Um, with one of the 14.4 ounce bottles, 
you um, and you get two of these in the Thieves Essential Rewards Kit or in the Premium Starter Kit when it comes back. Um, with one bottle of cleaner, you can get 25 diluted spray bottles. Each bottle, um, well, Sarah Harnish must clean a lot more than me. She says each bottle lasts me about a week. Yeah, it lasts me way longer than that. <laughs> so, but we have multiple bottles in our house, so I'll use that as my disclaimer. We have a bottle in our bathroom, we, in each bathroom. We have a bottle um, downstairs. We have a bottle in our kitchen. Um, yeah. So um, can you get 25 spray bottles of cleaner for $22? Nope, not in the stores. <laughs> not even at the Dollar Tree. Um, that would be $25 right there. Um, so all you have to do is add one capful of the concentrated thieves cleaner to a spray bottle with water and you're off and running. It is the cheapest green cleaner out there and it works better than any other cleaner I've seen. So it is one simple swap that will totally change how you clean and help you toss most of the harsh chemicals out from under your kitchen sink. So Young Living doesn't just have the Thieves Starter Kit and the Thieves Essential Rewards Kit. It has an entire line of Thieves products. Um, we have bar soap, cough drops, dental floss, dish soap, dishwasher powder, mints, fruit and veggie wash, even Thieves wipes. Um, it is just so simple. There is no prep required and it is so easy to swap. Um, so let's take a quick look at the fruit and veggie wash. Um, so Thieves is really good for preserving fruits and vegetables. Um, I have always bl been blown away when I use the Thieves fruit and veggie wash because of all the grime that comes off my produce right when I bring it home from the grocery store. Like I, I try to buy mostly organic produce but you would be amazed at the stuff that still comes off of even that like because people have handled it while packaging it and putting it in the stores and in the stores you know people touch right touch all the stuff and um the wax they put food grade wax on stuff to make it look prettier this it takes all that off and i'm amazed at the dirt that's in the bottom of my bowl after i get done washing it every time and so thankful that it's gone um but this is a tale of two pumpkins here um, can you tell which pumpkin might have been sprayed with thieves? <laughs> which one wasn't? <laughs> oh, one is happy, one is not. The happy one had thieves, of course. Um, so as I am putting my groceries away, I pull each fruit, each vegetable out, pop it in a large bowl of water with a cap full of the wash. It helps get the gunk and the dirt off my produce before I put it in the fridge. And I usually just let it soak for about five minutes while I'm putting the other groceries away. And then it truly seems to help things last fresher longer. Um, so sometimes I've even just spritzed some of the wash or some of the fruit spray, fruit and veggie spray on stuff without actually washing it just to try to help keep it fresher in my fridge. Um, so Brittany is going to tell us how to double your thieves laundry soap. Yes. So if you have not followed Le Leslie Burris, um, she is amazing. Mm -hmm. She, um, this is where I got this info and she has uh, tips and hacks along the way of most Young Living products. Um, so if you're not following her follower, she loves the Lord. She's got an awesome family. Um, just a great testimony and story and she loves to share. So um, this is what I do. I have right now three bottles of the actual um, laundry soap and I've already got them divided up. Um, so you take one laundry soap, divide it in half and I um, if you don't have another container just use a mason jar. You don't have to get fancy. Um, the other thing I have is I got, I did get on Amazon and buy the little pumps. I forgot to bring mine up here. Um, but I have a pump that I use, um, for my washer. Um, and then you just add two capfuls of Thieves household cleaner to each half and then fill the rest up with, uh, filtered water. Uh, gently shake it and you get two for the price of one. That is the laundry soap. And that lasts forever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I think, now there's 10 of us, we have, <laughs> I think I get two to three weeks per 32 ounce. So I think that's pretty good. It yeah. usually lasts a month for two, and I think that's pretty good. Right. It'll probably last a smaller family more, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I typically do at least three loads of laundry a day. Wow. So, we do a ton of laundry <laughs> and, and most of it's towels, towels, wash rags, cleaning up messes, Coors clothes, Lincoln's clothes, um, <laughs> <Coors and Lincoln. laughs> lavender's pretty, pretty good. Um, but yeah, so I think, I think, I don't honestly even know because I just don't worry about it. I have it already. And the kids are like, mom, I'm out. And I'm like, okay, fill it up. Let's go. So, Thieves Dish Soap. Um, now, I will be completely honest with you with this. She gets three out of hers. I do not like the third. I only do two. Um, I think it's um, not, I feel it's not as effective, but I think that's because I like to see bubbles and I don't always see bubbles and we shouldn't see bubbles, people. We should not see bubbles. The stuff that makes you bubble is the SLS sodium lauryl sulfate and you do not want any of that in your products. So Google that. Mm -hmm. um, so you take one of these and it's the same. She um, does a third and um, then saves the rest in other bottles and she also adds um, a cap full of Thieves Household Cleaner to them and then the rest she fills up with water and uses it. And I do the same except I just half it. Um, I do half um, how, uh, dish soap. I do one scoop, uh, not scoop, one capful of these household cleaner. And then um, I believe there's also, you can add a little bit of baking soda um, and that will help with the sudsing if you like to see the suds. Um, and I think it's a teaspoon of baking soda. And um, then you add the rest with water. So it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, and yeah. again, after you buy it, I mean, after you buy it and that, so for me, it's $14 for a thing of the um, dish soap. So it would be $7 because I half it. And, um, that is typically for uh, five to seven dollars is a typical um, healthier version of dish soap, the cost. Um, so depend, but try it if you don't like, if you don't mind the half, then try making three out of it. And if you like that, then it's an even better savings. Mm -hmm. We do three with ours and I'll give you all a bonus hack with this that I just remembered. Um, <clears throat> I don't like running a sink full of dishes. I, or, you know, I usually just have a handful, like two or three things to wash at once. So I actually put my dish soap in a foaming bottle. So I'll put just about a quarter of the way full, maybe, if, if that, probably not even that full, maybe a fifth of the way full with the soap, fill it up the rest of the way with water mix it really good, and then I just squirt that foam directly onto the sponge or um, little pad that I'm using, you know, or a brush, whatever I'm using to wash with, and that makes it go so long, like, really, we, we use our dishwasher a lot, but we use the, I mean, I wash several dishes a day at least, and it will last us, one, the one original bottle lasts us months and months, like, it's unreal. Okay. So I'm going to jump ahead to the hand soap Perfect. to save time. Yes, I think that's a fantastic idea. Okay, so here is a hack on the hand soap. What you got, Brittany? So it's same. Um, she says to do a third um, mm -hmm. and make it into um, three bottles and then fill the rest with um, the water. Um, but I actually take it and um, you don't even need a third. Like 
you can do a little less than that. So, and then um, you just fill the rest with water. Now, Young Living also has the refillable, uh, the big refills. Um, and I believe, I forgot to look that up, um, but it's a huge bottle. I mean, like huge bottle. Uh, and you can get, I only do, I, I'm terrible at measuring. I should have measured just for you guys because I need to refill mine. But I literally only put like this much in the bottom of it and then I fill the rest with water and it goes even longer. Um, and Josiah is really picky about this. Like I will never let him hear me say this. Um, <laughs> I might tell him, but then he'll, it'll be in his head and he'll be like, it's not the same. Um, he thinks that if I put too much water in there, it doesn't work right pumping it, but it, it does. He, he doesn't know that I only use that much of the stuff. He's like, oh, it's silky. I'm like, yes, honey. It's because it came directly from Young Livy. <laughs> but they don't so, know it doesn't hurt them sometimes. <laughs> right? But yeah, so I make it last a lot longer. But oh. he's like, oh, this is so good. And I'm like, I know, I know. So, awesome. but yeah. But yeah, it, honestly, these are, it lasts. These things last. If you, and it's so concentrated and it's just as, as effective. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it will last you. Absolutely. So um, what I kind of thought we might do at this point, Brittany and I didn't talk about it, but I know she'd be fine with it, is open up the Zoom to you all. Do you have some hacks, tips, things like in the thieves world that you absolutely love or that you have figured out and works great for you? Um, so if you have one, unmute yourself and share it, please. <laughs> Save with the hand sanitizer. Save your little bottles and buy the big one and fill up your little bottles and put them around. Yep. Um, I found that. <laughs> That's what I do too. <laughs> Been doing that a long time. <laughs> awesome. Good, good. Um, uh, one thing we do with the, uh, the spray, the small spray, mm -hmm. is... Uh, in a public restroom, if you absolutely have to sit down, you can spray the toilet seat too. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love, we take that to restaurants when we're allowed to sit in restaurants. I can't wait till we're allowed again. Um, but you spray the table down and wash it down. Mm -hmm. um, you will be surprised at what you find. The menus. Wow. Yep. 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 Also, if you go stay in a motel, the TV remotes, the faucets, mm -hmm. anything you touch in there. When I travel, especially on airplanes, um, I usually have that with me to spray, like she said, the seats and stuff. But also, if I hear someone cough or sneeze or anything around me, I spray it in my throat. <laughs> it is a religious experience, but it works. <laughs> it stops coughing, too. Yes. <laughs> um, I was going to say, I had Lib with me in the grocery store like a week ago, and she, I took this with us, and she, she's like, Mom, really? I'm like, oh, really? And I say, come here. And I put my arm around her and I go right to her face. Oh, I'm not even joking. And I go, and she's like, Ugh! I'm like, you won't die. I, I inhale it all the time. So I'm spraying it. And, and she's like, mother, you're so weird. I'm like, yes, I am. But guess what? This is going down into your lungs. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. Any others? I'm just kind of going back through some of these. So, mouthwash. The it's mouthwash. good for throat spray. Yeah. Homemade throat spray. Absolutely. Just a little bit, does ya? Um, mix with some water. Yep. I used this toothpaste for deodorant for the longest time until Young Living came out with their new deodorants last <gasps> year. Um, 
That's weird. <laughs> to your muscle, that's weird. <laughs> I actually used the deodorant to get, um, I had a chalkboard, uh, chalkboard, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it would, the chalkboard paint wouldn't come off after I had written on it. So I used that and it came right off. Oh. Pretty cool. Huh? Deodorant? Yeah, deodorant. <laughs> He's still stuck on deodorant. Yes. <laughs> Bless his heart. Like, well, that's just... stranger than I thought she was. <laughs> You're right. All right. Well, um, we want to honor everyone's time. So thank you. Thank you so much for hopping on here with us. And um, if you have any questions about any of the Thieves products, um, you know, how to get the best prices for stuff, you know, the best value, the best bundles, ask us you know we we will if we don't know it we'll help you number crunch and figure it out but um don't forget um also no wait i like to use conscious language remember that on thursday we have another zoom and this is our three s's we are going to be sipping sniffing and snacking so Brittany's going to have some recipes that she's going to post um, to share. And so you can use those recipes to make a snack with your Vitality oils if you have them. Um, if not, just grab a snack that you want to snack. And we're just going to talk mostly about the Vitality oils, but also about some healthy snacks and sips and stuff. So, um, so yeah. You got anything to add on that, Brittany? Nope. Okay. Great. For me? All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all. Have a good night. You too. Mm -hmm. Hang on.